Hi, today we're going to see how to swap faces in GIMP. I will put the link of the images I will use in the description box. So this is the first image and now I'm going to bring the second image. So here's the second image. So I'm just going to drag it to GIMP. So here it is. And now select the move tool and I'm just going to move it here like this. Make sure to add an alpha channel to this layer here. So right click, add an alpha channel, and then right click again, layer to image size. And now I'm going to use the free select tool. I'm going to make selection here. I'm going to make selection of the face here of the women. So press the plus key on your keyboard to zoom in to be more precise. And now I'm just going to make selection here like this. So here it is, and now press enter, and now press the minus key on your keyboard to zoom out, and now invert the selection, so go to select, invert, and then press the delete key on your keyboard, so here it is, and now go to select, none to remove the selection, and now I'm going to scale down, so first let's use the move tool here, just move it here like this, and still reduce the opacity here to see the face of the man here like this. So here I'm just going to decrease it. So select the scale tool, left click. And here, as you can see, the chain icon here is linked. So keep the control key down here to scale it proportionally like this. Here, and now I'm just going to move it in the center like this. So here, I think it's okay here. And now press center. And now I'm going to remove some of the face here of the women here. So select the eraser tool. Let's reduce the hardness and the force here, 50-50. Decrease the size a little bit. So I'm just going to remove some of the upper part here, where the hair is. So here, like this. So I think I'm going to leave it like this. And now go to filters, GMIC. And now go to layers here and then scroll down and then select blend seamless. So here's the result. So, so for example, there are many settings here. So for example, let's see the inner fading. If I increase it here, as you can see, almost removed all the women's face here. So if I put it in the middle here to 50, it will kind of reduce the opacity or add a kind of blur to it. So I'm going to decrease it. So here, for example, even if you leave, for example, settings here and you want to reset the settings, just click on this icon here and it will reset everything. And for the outer fading, for example, if I increase it too much here, so like this, so here, and now let's decrease it all the way down here. So as you can see here, we can see the face here of the women where we use the selection tool. So for the outer fading here, it will help blend the outer side here of the layer here. So here, so for example, I'm just going to leave it with the default settings. I got a quite good effect. So let's, for example, increase a little bit the inner fading. So here for the outer and the length Let's increase it. And now down here, make sure input layers all visible and the output mode is a new layer. It will create a new layer. So just press OK. So here's the new layer, the gimmick filter created. And now here, if I press the plus key in my keyboard to zoom in, as you can see here, the mouth here is quite dark compared to the women's mouth. So here, as you can see, so I'm going to fix it. So just add layer mask to the gimmick layer. Add layer mask, check the white full opacity layer mask, and now we're going to paint black here on the layer mask to show the layer under it. So select the brush tool, decrease a little bit the hardness here. So here, and now I'm just going to paint here. So control Z. So I'm just going to be more precise, decrease the size here. I don't want 
I just want the inside here of the mouth so here like this then decrease the size a little bit again so here now let's zoom out so here let's see the face here so here it is you can still color the lips here like this but i think i will keep it as it was Control z press the minus key on your keyboard to zoom out and now i'm going to merge down this layer with the face here so here it is click on this icon here so here it is and now here's the image before and here's the after so here it is that's how you can swap faces in gimp using jimic thanks for watching have a nice day and uh, till next time